you guessed it, it's seat time. That is right, folks. I went with the Sparco Pro ADV seat, and I went with it because I really like the Halo seats a lot better for the added protection and the comfort. Now, this guy is going to be going in the car now that we have the cage installed, or the half cage. Realistically, I want to do the harness before I do the seat because I still need to drill holes for the harness down in the floor. But where the harness is going to sit depends on where I'm going to sit in the seat. So what we got to do first is we got to get it mounted up here and then I got to see how comfortable it is for me to sit there and basically get the right seating position. And then once we have the right seating position, then I can know where to drill the holes for the harness. And then we can drill those and then mount the seat with the harness and then the whole thing should be done. So to kick things off, we need to get those brackets onto the seat. With those on there, now we can go ahead and put it in the car and start trying to figure out what the most comfortable position is for me. I've got it kind of more or less estimating where I want it to be. On the back, I have it on the second to lowest and on the front, I have it at the highest. That's gonna kick my legs up a little bit more as well as lean me back a little bit because with the mount in there, it does look like it's gonna keep me pretty close to the steering wheel, so I need to give my room, my arms enough room forward so that I'm not binding. So this is the furthest back position that this seat can be in right now. And I've got quite a bit of room to play with with the clutch here. My clutch does go pretty deep on this car. My arms feel comfortable. You do kind of want that 90 degree angle in there. I think maybe I could go a little bit more forward on the arms. Also because my foot doesn't feel fully comfortable. Now I'm kind of ballparking here because it's a little bit hard. But So I'm three notches forward from where I was. This actually more or less feels as comfortable as it's going to get. That's a nice elbow right there. I've got plenty of room to play with my pedals here. The clutch feels really nice. But right here on this fourth notch from the front, yeah, I think that's about comfortable. And then as for front and back, let's see, all the way back. Something I can adjust later once it's mounted. It's going to be a lot easier to mount the up and down motion. But I think this might be with my helmet. I might be a little bit too leaned back because, I mean, I don't have my helmet on, so it's not going to feel the exact same. Back all the way against the chair. Yeah, I could probably move this a little bit forward, tilted, um, but keeping it on that fourth notch, that's more or less where I want it. So let's keep this here, and then we can figure out where we're going to mount our positions for the harness. Okay, so I bolts are taken care of. Now we can actually start mounting this up officially. Uh, there is one problem, though that right there that hole is supposed to use this bolt there's no real way to get that bolt into that hole so I'm gonna try something to get that in there and then we'll go ahead and get the brackets mounted to this and then we can get this mounted into the car and then we can adjust the seat exactly how we want it okay it was really simple I just bent that out the ear out fit the bolt in there once it was bent out far enough and then I bent it back into place. So when we sat the seat in here before I drilled the eye bolts, I had determined that the fourth spot right there on this rail was the most comfortable for me. Failed to realize that does not line up with these holes here. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to go back to the third slot because that's the most forward it can be. I used these holes right here and then these holes right here on the mounting bracket for mounting the seat. So what I need to do, if I want to get a little bit more forward, is I'll use these holes here, and then these holes here, and that should give me that one little notch more forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount these down with these bolts here. I had to go pick these up, because once again, Sparco does not provide hardware, but I made sure that these were metric, so that if I ever needed to get them off, I would have the stuff I needed, and if I was ever at the track, people would have metric. No one ever has Imperial, so I made sure I got metric bolts, which are not as easy to find.
right, so it's been way too much time later, but we're finally in the car with the seat. It is set to what I like. My feet are a little bit forward compared to what I want, but if I move it back, it adjusts my arms too much. And if you guys recall, when we were first fitting it, I was talking about the arm angle. You kind of want that 90. Right now, I'm not in my proper sitting position, but you kind of want that 90. I would have stretched my arms out a little bit too far. So that's something I can kind of consider. Also, the seat's great, but I'm... I took the measurement at the waist, which is what they always say to do for a racing seat, but the height issue, like I'm hitting my shoulders on the halos, and maybe that's what you're supposed to do, but my understanding with the halos is that they're supposed to be for your helmet uh, to keep your head safe, so the head's gotta be more in this area. So I may have to, in the future, consider getting a different seat, which would be completely fine, because if I do decide to go with a larger seat for myself, this seat would just become my passenger seat. I already need a passenger seat. So this is kind of a good place to start. I do love this seat, so I'm not looking to get rid of it. I really hope that it works for me. I haven't run it on track yet though, so that's, uh, that's something I haven't really figured out. It's something I'm just kind of feeling right now, but I'll know better when I actually get to race with this. It is very tight indeed though to get in and out of the car. Um, I still got the stock steering wheel, so something that might be worth considering in the future is an aftermarket steering wheel with the quick releases. Definitely help to get in and out of the car. It's just not high on the priority list. So it's something that I am definitely considering changing out to in the future to fit with the seat a little bit better. But overall, I'm happy with the seat. I'm happy with how it is. I've just got to run it to fully understand whether or not it's going to work for me. Anyway, I think that covers just about everything that we had planned for this video, getting that seat mounted into just about the right position so that it is more comfortable. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it performs. Maybe I'll love it, maybe I'll hate it. We'll see as uh, time goes on. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.